Hi there guys, I was going to do a software update video of 2021.24.5 but as I got into my car, I also noticed that there is navigational data available right now. Uh, we are getting this navigational data uh, downloaded. Uh, so what we had previously was 2020.24.12097 and now we are getting 2021.32.133 something and we're going to let that download and install before we do the uh, video of the Tesla Autopilot Challenge as well as the new software update that is 2021.24.5. Let's do this. What? I will take this exit. It does see the lanes. Let's test this. I meant to say this left turn, not exit, but yeah, you understand what I mean. Okay. Not really. Okay, fair enough. Although it did see the lanes, it didn't want to take that exit. It was very unsure. But this is super easy. We have a follow car, so we don't have to press on the accelerator. So that's 80 kilometers. It recognized the speed. All I had to do was press down on the right stock, and that changes automatically. Now, the reason why I wanted to update the maps before I did this autopilot run was because there are a new set of uh, traffic lights up ahead. Was, these were not there in the previous uh, previous map. Uh, data and so I'm hoping that this has been changed so this is a roundabout so the car will come to a halt yeah, so it does now let's keep going it wouldn't take this oh wow it does oh it okay I had to disable autopilot over there fair enough now the new set of lights come right ahead right about now you can see them in the other camera yep yeah, so this has been updated so if you go to my previous video um this was not um this was not coming up like this so it's slightly updated so that's part of the map data it's pretty good and all these are from the uh recognition the traffic light recognition uh, that is artificial intelligence and not uh, anything to do with the map map data here it's pretty good but there is a litmus test coming up just about now when the car takes the uh, on-ramp onto princess motorway or rather princess highway let's see what happens it always behaves badly um, although it has to merge onto the right lane it does turn on the left indicator uh, as if it's taking the exit and then uh, it wants to merge onto the opposite side confusing the people behind us let's see if that has been updated in this particular update let's see it's not bad, isn't it? We're still in uh, autopilot. That <laughs> is not bad at all. How good is that? It's never done this before. I'm, I'm quite impressed. Whoa, okay. Did, 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 <laughs> you wanted to go that side. Okay, I disabled autopilot. Let's take this. So this is the on-ramp, all right? Now when I turn on... Um, Let's turn this off. Let's see what it does. So that's the mistake that it should not be doing this. It should not be turning on that indicator. It must go to the opposite side. This indicator must be the one which should be should have been applied. But that's not the case here. Okay, that's that's not brilliant, is it? It definitely confuses the hell out of people behind us. Because there is a left turn there. It must go on to the opposite lane. There you go. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's see if I can go onto the lane. Okay, never mind. I'll stay on this lane. That's fine. So one of the lingering problems have not yet been solved. Now it recognized the 80. Okay, let's bring that down to 80. I'll pull it down to stock. Pretty good till now. I'm guessing that this 
stretch of this uh, autopilot test will be quite uneventful till we reach the overbridge there down down this road i'll definitely alert you on uh, on that as soon as it comes All right, thus far, autopilot test has been uneventful. As you can see, there's a straight road, nothing much for the autopilot to get confused with. Um, no uh, fast overtaking cars. It turned to 70, so I just pressed on the stop there. So thus far, it's been okay. From, from here on in, there are a few challenges for the autopilot. Uh, first up would be a set of roundabouts that come up. up. And then uh, there's the new lanes and the new road that has been um, just commissioned so that's something which will be interesting to see if autopilot recognizes those changes and the map data has been updated as well so that'd be nice to see that too and also up ahead i'd like to see if the opposite side um the red line which is non-existent and the car always stops at that place if that has been updated that'll be, be nice to see so there are the set of lights up ahead i'm not sure why it recognized that as a green light there was no green light the, the the traffic lights are off let's see if the car would do there's no cars here okay cars behind me so it was reasonably safe so i let the car do it uh try to take the roundabout but again no luck it did not recognize the 80 there that's a shame okay no worries We'll push it up by pushing up the right side dial and that pushes up speed there okay there are some road works here this will be interesting what the car does so i'm going to take the opposite lane there i need to go down to 40 kilometers i know the time now is 5 45 there wouldn't be any works going on at this time Follow the, the traffic rules that go down to, to 50, 61st and then go down to 40 from there on in. Now there is a car merging from the opposite side. So all these are roadworks. Let's go down to 40. It did recognize the 40, so all I had to do was just pre press down on the right side stock and it will go down to 40. Okay, apply some steering wheel force there. That's fine. Now, does anybody feel that the car is going way too close to the to the bollards on the left? Wow. I'm going to let the car do it. But um, it is a wee bit scary that it's going that close to the bollards. You can see it. That's the distance there. It's a little unnerving. I'm going to give a little bit of throttle. And, uh, yeah. This is the exit we're trying to take. Let's do this. It's still an 80 road. I don't know why it thinks it's, it's 100. So the map data is not being really updated there, is it? Didn't see 100 kilometers anywhere. There's no sign there to make that change. So that's interesting. I suppose this is this will be a 100 kilometers now road um, once the road works are finished. But right now, we're still having road works. Now up ahead is that left turn. Two out of two, the car did take the left turn with a little bit of uh, help from you know, from the driver. So I want to see if this does take this left turn one more time. Let's make sure there are no cars. Okay, stopping. Okay, I'm going to push no cars on the other side. Let's push. Okay, did not do it this time. Right. Okay. That's a little disappointing. Fair enough, fair enough. So there you go. Tesla Autopilot Challenge has been okay. There have been a few lingering uh, bugs which have not been fixed. Uh, map data did not do uh, much help with regards to that 100 kilometers, but uh, we may probably give that to Tesla in this instance because that, that would be 100 kilometers on our road once the road works uh, is all done. Um, so other than that, there's not been much change with this autopilot uh, update and this, 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 this Tesla software update as well. Not too bad, not too bad. Right here, so thank you very much for watching guys. This is a short video, I'm afraid. 
because there's not much happening with this update. If you like what I'm doing, please click on that thumbs up and also click on that notification bell icon to get uh, notifications of my videos as soon as they drop. And if you like what I'm doing, do click on that subscribe button. Uh, and if you're looking for a Tesla of your own, an S3, X or a Y, kindly consider using my referral code. Uh, details are the same are there in the description of this video. Um, all of those uh, Tesla uh, supercharger miles that I get or supercharger kilometers that I get uh, will be uh, going towards my higher vehicle, the, the higher Tesla Model 3 that I hire out via ev.com.au x Canberra. Uh, and if you are looking to hire a Tesla of your own or any, if you're, any EV of your own, you can uh, do that via ev.com.au and uh, there is a code Tesla Gong um, to uh, get $25 off of your first hire. So do check that out. Details of the same are there in the description of this video as well. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla the Gong signing off. Peace. I'm not sure if you guys noticed this. Uh, the car has been doing uh, even city streets. Uh, pretty well. This is the uh, on uh, this is the oncoming traffic that we do in the morning run. So this is the nighttime run. This is the return. Uh, it's pretty good. It's it's uh, kept to its lane. It's not gone too close to the median, nor has gone too close to the uh, uh, to the uh, curb as well. Pretty good all in all. I'm I'm quite happy. Let's push for this. All right, guys. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'll see you guys very soon. Another interesting video. Ta.